Hi, I'm Artie Traum. I'd like to welcome you to my beginner's lesson in Dadgad, the most amazing tuning ever invented for the guitar. This is a tuning that I am particularly fond of. I think it's very, very exciting tuning. It's great for beginners because it's really easy, but it can quickly get very complicated, and there are wonderful, wonderful harmonic mm -hmm. possibilities in this tuning. So this low E goes down a full step to D, and I'm using my tuner to make sure that I'm still in tune. Because even after many years of playing, I still don't trust my ears compared to the wonderful biofeedback you get from a tuner. So this is down to D, and it should match your fourth string, which is also a D. Now your high E on top will go down also to D. should sound like this. So your high E is down to D now. So now your outer strings are Ds, and your inner string, fourth string, is a D. All Ds. This sort of is what's called a modal tuning. Half major, half minor. It sort of walks a thin line between the two. The good news is, to start playing in Dadgad, you only need one finger, which is your first finger, placed on the third string second fret and you hit down across the strings strum across and you have a D chord just like that that's all it takes I love this because it's the easiest chord that anybody could make on a guitar that's the D chord of the one chord the A chord is equally simple you just simply take this finger and move it down to the fourth string on the second fret you strum across, but this time you only can strum from the fifth string down. You start on the fifth string in the bass. Really pretty. There's a song that goes, I'm going down that road feeling bad, to G, I'm going down that road feeling bad, to G, I'm going down that road feeling bad, and A, I ain't going to be treated this way. It's using just those three chords, but it's very pretty. And what makes this dadgad tuning so remarkable to me is that when you go to that G chord, or the, what we call the four chord, the open strings, it gives it a new sort of tonality. The kind of sound you hear with uh, Joni Mitchell or James Taylor. You hear those kinds of, or Jackson Brown, those ringing strings. Now this all takes some getting used to, the way these tones work in a tuning like Dad Gad. Um, if you're a fan of singer-songwriter types of material, you'll enjoy this next little exercise, which starts to get slightly more complicated, but it's all very easy and accessible. Starting on D, the second chord, you hold this down and you add your third finger on the sixth string, fourth fret, and you have an F sharp note over a D chord, which is what we would call a passing chord. So it sounds like... And this will lead you to your G chord. So you got. Now, I know I've been doing something, everyone's going, why is that pinky moving? Okay, this is one of my first rules of playing in Dadgad. If your pinky's free, find a place to put it. Not on your ear, but someplace on the fingerboard. Um, for example, here's your D, basic D chord. Got a free pinky? Try it here on the first string, fourth fret. Sounds really nice. Still part of a D chord. As you add your, now take your pinky off, hit your D with your F sharp in the bass. You've got a really free pinky with that chord. I like to put it on the second string, fourth fret, like this. And you get this sort of dissonant. So you got D. There's a song that's kind of neat which I, I, I don't really sing, but I'll give it a, a shot. 
to show you how these chords would work uh, because harmonically there are a lot of choices you can make with a song like this. The Water is Wide, which pretty much everybody knows. Maybe the most beautiful song in the English language. The water is wide I cannot cross over I wings to fly Give me a boat That can carry two And both shall This is your D position. It works great just to strum across it. To go to your A and keep it bluesy, you simply take your first finger from the third string and move it down to the fourth and start with your A in the bass. So you get this kind of, it's, it's almost a dissonant chord, but it's not. It's, it still works in the blues context. So you've got your D and your A. D, and your A, and back to your D. Now one of the things that I like a whole lot is when you add an F in the bass, which is simply, here's your D chord. Don't worry about this one, you just move a finger up here to the sixth string on the third fret, 